I'm going to show you how to connect two iConnectivity interfaces with one Ethernet cable. Right now I have a Play Audio 12 and a MIDI 4 Plus. We're going to have the Play Audio 12 create the session with the MIDI 4 Plus. I have them both connected via USB to this computer for setup. So in iConfig, I've selected the MIDI 4 Plus here. I need the Ethernet settings in order to get them connected. So I'm just going to go into here, hit OK. MIDI info tab, scroll right to the bottom, you'll find the ethernet settings. And what we need is we need the name right here. Now if you don't have this or you don't want to connect the second device to your computer, I'll give you the shorthand prefix right here and there's going to be dash last three of the serial number dash zero one two three four as the ports go down. Uh, you can see right now I have no connected IP or connected port so we can tell that these guys are not connected um, I just did a factory reset on both of them so they're good to go so I'm going to close that config because we're not going to use that until we go to verify the settings so you're going to need this program called RTP MIDI setup our firmware guy was nice enough to hook us up with this um, it's a real simple app and it's going to be available for download in the link below Let's open that. Make sure that iConfig is closed or Oracle is closed before you go into this program. If not, they will conflict and they will not save. They fight each other. Okay, so just make sure it's closed. Um, so I'm going to hit search. We're going to select the Play Audio 12. And then, because that, that's our initiator. So whatever one you want to start the session, you're going to want to click on that device in here. I'm going to hit Get Settings. And you see all our sessions right now. We're gonna switch them all to initiator. I'm gonna connect all four sessions to the MIDI 4 Plus. So I get four MIDI ports with 16 channels each. Remember that section that we copied before with the ethernet settings, just paste it into here and click on session two. All we're doing is just changing the last number on each one, exactly the same. Once that's done, hit save settings and they're connected. I'm gonna close the RTP MIDI setup now, and we're gonna go back into iConfig just so you can see um, that they're actually connected. You'll see that connected port with an IP now. And we'll select the MIDI 4 Plus here when it comes up. You can select Play Out 12 to both show these uh, connected settings. So MIDI info tab again in iConfig, scroll right to the bottom, and now you can see they all have a connected IP, a port, and um, the Play Audio 12 info is right there. And that's all it is.